this is a very short video to determine if blue hydrangea is a rationalized racist. A rationalized racist is not a card carrying racist. You will never hear them using derogatory terms or shouting abuse at anybody. On a superficial level to somebody like me, a black female, they almost seem like too good to be true. They are very congenial on a superficial level. They will praise you on a superficial level. They will even point out racism in other people on a superficial level. If they promise you anything positive, it will always fall through. If you go for a job and they interview you, they will love you, but you won't get the job. They will unintentionally sabotage your plans, unintentionally throw you underneath the bus, unintentionally humiliate you. And as friendly and congenial as they are superficially, if you look at their lives holistically, they have never uplifted a person of color unless it is damage limitation. And that is somebody who is a rationalized racist. There will always be a perfectly good logic, reason or rationale for their behavior. But as a person of color, you will get absolutely nothing positive from a relationship with that person, apart from superficial pleasantries. So I'm going to start with the case of something Wong with vinegar strokes. Let's have a look see. Oh, I love you. I love you. Yeah. Out of everyone who's left here, I need you here with me. Because I feel like if you're not here, I'm going to go crazy. I love their friendship. It was so cute. Oh, mate. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. I literally don't want to go. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> no, don't cry. <laughs> Wait to go. No, no. I noticed on two separate occasions, she called both of them out as being the weakest, but not the weakest, I'll help you, like the Vivian said, but I want you to go. And Novimpia, the two British drag queens who did reviews at the time, also noticed it. And one of them even said, oh, she must be racist. And then they made a joke of it. But that stayed in my mind because I was thinking it. One example was not good enough, so I just gave her a side eye. Fast forward a couple of years, UK versus the rest of the world, we've got Juju B and Mo Hart, Black and Asian, again, the Americans. Would history repeat itself? Or was it just a Did fluke? Did you notice a change whenever the Americans came onto the stage? Like Not getting good vibes. The atmosphere felt really intense. Why are you always lying? It's because when they play the game, they play it for yeah. Yes, ruthless Americans playing the game and you're just here for a tea party. Yeah, and I noticed that because they were standing over there reading every single one of us. Like, while we were unpacking, we were all just having a nice time. Oh dear, I've given her my second side eye. The case of Miss Mo Hart, baby, I can predict this ain't gonna end well. So Monique, I have something to tell you. In front of the cameras. <laughs> the first ever time I met you, I really didn't like you. <laughs> yeah, no. To the no, no, no. <laughs> we were at a gig in Belfast, right? And I was on the lineup. I was opening up for you. And it was Brooklyn Heights and all these massive queens. Yeah, I was so starstruck. You know, but I was... Why are you always lying? I remember you were like, will you tie my shoelaces and like hold my garments and, and then shouted at me for not, for not keeping them off the floor? Lisa, I want some more. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's such a diva. And I was waiting for that. I mean, of all the queens in Drag Race, her stream, Monique is probably one of the only <laughs> ones that I've had this kind of moment with. Why are you always lying? But it's weird being in the same workroom, so why not bring it up and, you know, flatten this beef? Well, talk about bad taste. 
it wasn't a beef it was resentment on your part followed by you ambushing her on national tv i had no more side eyes to give i was done by the time we got to the case of pangina i just said pan pan you're asian i have no faith potentially go home because there's four bottoms i'm devastated you're such an inspiration to me and i, I really love you and your art yeah. and yeah. i don't want to pick you yeah. because i really respect you and i don't think I'm, i'll be able to why are you always lying i know having spoken with blue i am really confident that she's gonna save me pan pan i live in the uk i've met so many people like blue the rationalized racist and i was 100 percent certain she was not going to save you but tonight i'm sending home pangina it's because when they play the game they play for yeah you castigated the americans for taking it too seriously and what did you go and do well just as i thought trash people defending blue said well pan pan did the same to jimbo well jimbo was sent home with no wings pan pan saved a friend and she picked jimbo out of two people how is that the same people how is it the same after the program aired, Blue tweeted this cheeky message. And I'd like to say, well, Drag Race Thailand finished three years ago and fans of Pan Pan have all watched it. Thank you very much, Blue. Blue was well within her rights to get rid of Pan Pan. They sign a contract, they give up their rights and they know that they will be eliminated at some point. Even if blue didn't score so high on my rationalized racism scale she still would be unethical and immoral this means just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something this is what we call morals or ethics I'm dark and nasty and i don't like you blue is a brilliant drag queen as is sharon needles i just don't like them as people i've stopped watching the show because if i don't like you i can't look at you however i do believe blue deserves to win and make the charity record for the bbc the bbc is a dinosaur organization anyway resting on past glories they have a reputation for being middle class male mediocre and melanin free they only hire minorities as damage limitations and to tick boxes so she'll fit right in if she wins so good luck to blue you are a good drag queen